Bruce Boontip, uh, head guy behind G Adventures. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing really good. Berlin's beautiful and um, it's packed here. It's great. Tell everybody about G Adventures. I mean, really, this is a road that's kind of started, what, 25 years ago or so for you on a backpacking trip and, and phew, it's led you all the way to here. Yeah, uh, 24 years ago and 10 months. Wow. Almost 25 <laughs> years. Uh, yeah, it was uh, an idea to, you know, the travel could change the world. I mean, people traveled very differently back in 1990. Um, the world is very different. Uh, people got used to get out a guidebook and do it, but the world has changed. It, people have information in their pockets, how they travel, how they research travel is very different now. But I mean, we set out to, you know, we believe that travel could change the world. And in, in the last 25 years, we've become kind of the largest uh, small group adventure company in the world now. Yeah, it's really important for you, and it should be for everybody, right? That sustainability and uh, responsible sort of travel and tourism, right? Yeah, I, I just think that travel should uh, match the way people are living at home. I mean, we're all changing the way we live at home. People are, you know, recycling and, you know, putting low watt, you know, light bulbs in their homes or, or eating organically, 100 mile diets. We're all changing sustainably, and, you know, for some reason, people can suspend all those beliefs when they go on holidays. And I believe that your holiday choice should match the values in which you choose to live your life. And slowly more and more people are kind of realizing that it's kind of weird that I live like this at home, but then I take, you know, the cheapest possible trip and I'm in a, you know, an all-inclusive resort that sucks up massive resources. And just outside the walls, there's people that don't have access to medical care or don't have access to, you know, clean drinking water. And they realize that that's just not sustainable. You know, maybe there's a tipping point that people will start thinking, well, I want my holiday time to match how I want to live my life and what I believe and what I stand for with how I live my life. Uh, and talk about some of the actual adventures and trips that you guys handle. Well, we, you know, we run over 15,000 departures a year now, and we, um, in over 100 countries, different brands of trips, from active trips, of comfort trips for older, our YOLO trips for younger, we have active, we've got family, um, we've got local living programs where you can go live with nomadic tribes in Mongolia or rainforest tribes in the Amazon. Um, and so we have all types of different trips for people, but I mean, the bottom line is, you know, we're a social enterprise as a company and we focus on um, making sure that communities benefit from us being there. And, you know, our, through our foundation, Planetera, we really define ourselves in creating social change and allowing people to create wealth distribution uh, when deciding they want to go on holiday. Is there maybe a top spot that you've been to in your life that just stands out as, as the best one? I love, like, as I get older, I like wide spaces and uh, like Mongolia, Tibet, Antarctica. Um, I love Ecuador as a, as a country. It's one of my favorite countries in the world. It's always has been with the Galapagos and the Amazon. I can't imagine there's too many left, but uh, is there still a spot that you, as number one on your list, to get to yet? No, the funny thing is most of the places are in North America. I mean, I live in Canada. <laughs> in the same way. <laughs> and I haven't been to New Orleans, for instance. And I keep thinking, oh, gosh, I got, you know, i got to get to New Orleans. I haven't spent... Uh, 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 time in Russia, the Trans-Siberian, going to like the, from Beijing to Moscow. And, um, and so I'll do that probably when I have more time and I'm a little bit longer in the tooth. Exactly. Well, Bruce, uh, thanks a lot for hanging out. And I definitely want to go live with the uh, nomadic tribes in Mongolia. So can I call you up? Is that cool? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You know where to find me. Thanks.